Hello, I am Kenzie. I've never actually made a YouTube video before. This is my first, very first time. It should be fun. Okay, so I was in the market for the Kin 1M for a really long time. And I was on YouTube looking for videos and I could not find a single one. Actually, there was this one with this a kind of hot girl, but it wasn't very informative. So, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Kin 1M. And technically this is not actually an unboxing because I went to the store today and I bought it. But I'll just give you the impression of me unboxing. I'll show you what's inside. I'll show you what to expect if you choose to buy this. Now it's kind of this cool like I guess like like when you go to like the mailbox or when the bank and you like put money in or whatever. The little shoe thing. That's kind of what this looks like. Kind of cool. So you get like this thing and you just pull up on here and it comes in another container and it has this like little elastic band around it. Take that off and you, you open it up and now of course mine's been opened and so everything's like out and falling out. I had to charge it like right away when I got it because it was kind of dead already. And this is the owner's manual. Not very important. Um, it comes with some earphones. Uh, I personally probably won't use them because I have better earphones, I guess. But they seem like they'd be pretty nice if you used them. Kind of soft. It, it says Kin on them, of course. Branding. And you have your um, USB to micro USB cord, which is the first part of the charger and also connects to the computer. And you use, it comes with this little thing that adapts to the USB cord. So you just kind of attach the USB cord and then you plug it in. And then you attach the micro to the phone. And that's pretty much that. And then you have opened this all and all you have now is the phone. Now, the phone appears very, very small. It's actually not as small as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a lot smaller. Oh, when it originally came out, I believe last May or March, I don't remember, in 2010, it was originally called the Turtle, as you can clearly see. But it came out with the Kin 2 also, and so like, I kind of had a series going there, so we're going to call it the Turtle 1, Turtle 2, that, that's just stupid. Because the Kin 2 is not really turtle-like, I guess. So, the Kin 1 came out last May or March, I don't remember which one, but it was a complete failure. It was a smartphone, it was too expensive in every possible way, and it wasn't worth what it was providing. And it had this thing that was called the Loop, and it had uh, the Kin Spots. Well, the Kin 1M does not have that anymore. It has pretty much every other feature besides that, and doesn't have the 3G um, Verizon stuff, a mobile. I mean, you can get that. It's an option, but I don't see really why you need that. But you have your front screen here. And then when you turn the phone on, it asks you like for your name. So that would be like your self-contact. It asks you to choose English or Spanish. And it, um, it gives like a demonstration on how to use the capacitive touch screen. Now, this phone has some pretty edgy good features for, for being such... I mean, even though it's so small and stuff, it has a nice accordion keyboard I've been texting all day. And it's actually been very easy, and it lights up. It, um, oh, and it sends that it's, it's kind of dark. Like, in my room, it's kind of dark right now, and so it's, it's lighting up if I were to turn the light on a brighter. Or maybe I go outside, the light would go off because it would sense that it's not as dark. Um, but it's like a capacitive touchscreen, which means it's, it's like the um, iPhone or the iPod Touch, where, um, you don't actually need to click on the screen, you just need to just touch it and it senses that your finger's there. So, and if I were to open the screen on the Kin 1, you would open it up and then there would be a the loop. But since this is, it no longer has it, it opens up to your apps screen, which really isn't an app screen. Um, you can't really get apps for it, like you can get like for like an iPod Touch. But it is a feature phone, so like you should be happy with just what you have. It, it then has a favorites page. 
I don't know the copies so far. I haven't added all my contacts yet. Um, the bad thing about the kin though is that it's it's kind of special in its own little way, where you can't get like you can't go to the store and transfer like all your contacts from your old phone into the kin because for some reason it uses a different equipment and different stuff, so you can't do that. It's kind of unfortunate to have to do it by hand, or you can sync it from Facebook. I haven't figured out how to do it from, from syncing from Facebook yet. If you know how to, feel free to comment. That'd be greatly appreciated. But um, other cool features about this phone, of course, um, it has a five megapixel camera, which is actually really good. It takes really good pictures. I was very impressed with that. Um, I don't just dropped it there. That would have been bad. Um, it, here's the lock and power button right there that's I don't know what that is some sticker thing that's not really important um that's how you get the case off I'm not sure why you would ever need to get the case off there's a micro USB um connection I just got a text but this is perfect okay a, a perfect demonstration I don't know who this person is yet but they say that they are Haley so like when you get a message it just kind of just pops up on your screen there uh, a little bubble situation. It's kind of cool. And then if you want to view the message, you just tap on that, and then it pops up as a um, shredded message, which means you have it, all your messages all in that one little section with that one particular contact person. Kind of cool. Um, another cool feature about this phone is that it does have Wi-Fi, so you're not using the 3G. But if you're at like Starbucks and you need to like check your Facebook for some reason, because you just have to post something or something, um, you just click on browser, and then it'll ask you to connect to your um, the Starbucks thing, and you just go on Facebook and type what you need to do on this nice QWERTY keyboard. Um, now, unlike with the iPhone. It has a button here that would be a home button. You click it and you go to your home page. But this is actually a back button. So you click it and it takes you back one page. Or if you hold on to it, then it does um, serve as a home page button. So if you hold it, you go back to your home page, which is your app page. Um, I was going to have shown you, but like, I mean, if you get a message and you don't view it like right away, or like you maybe like three messages in a row. And you only respond to one, but you can go back and it will show you like next to the messages spot that you have like two, three, one messages. It didn't make sense, but okay. Um, and other cool features. It has phone. You just kind of just a type and call, whatever. Not, not, not that impressive. But if you scroll over, you can go uh, straight from your... Uh, call log and then you can go for your contacts and just call from there now my favorite feature about this I used to have a zoom but I recently I personally feel that I upgraded to an iPod touch but I kept the zoom software on here because I still had expected on getting a kin so I still have the zoom software and, and kin runs on zoom so here you have Zoom, which I'm gonna call it. It's it looks like a zoom. It pretty much is a zoom. It has four gigabytes of of memory, so it's a zoom pretty much, and a phone. But it's not a zoom phone. It is a phone that happens to have a zoom with it, which I think is pretty cool. And I and I actually was listening to some music earlier, and it does have pretty good quality. And also there is a speaker on here, so I can go in here and give you a little test of how. Uh, I'll pick a good song that, uh, six foot, seven foot. Oh, and here, look. I can show you here. Um, if you're in kind of like, oh, let's say you're in the music area, and your th a recents will light up, and a little like bubble will pop up there, and I'll show you and see right there. It says messages, and it says a one next to it, implying that I have one message to look at. Let's show you the speaker button. I'll turn it up so you can hear. 
Excuse me. It's pretty good. I personally think for a um for a feature phone, this is actually probably one of the best you could possibly have. I don't see a problem with it. It is really good. It may be a little small, but I kind of like that. You know, it stands out a little bit, and it's it feels nice in the hand. It's not too heavy. It's not a smartphone, so it doesn't do all the fancy stuff that a smartphone does. But I literally got this for free. Over the two-year warranty, it was free. So, I mean, a free phone that does all this stuff. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to have it. I will post another video later on my, like, after like a week or two on my views of how convenient it is to use, if I still like it after a two weeks. And this is a lot longer video than I was expecting, but cool. I was actually able to do it. First video went well. Um, comment, like, subscribe, I guess. I'll be posting more videos on more random gadgets, I guess. Um, yeah. So...